long-range and white-tailed deer is one of the most beautiful and majestic animals that doesn't get all the respect she deserves. They're gentle creatures. They're a wide-ranging part of the ecosystem. They feed off of leaves, twigs, and berries. These animals, they need to be observed and appreciated. For ultimately, we are all creatures of the earth. Oh my God, there's one right there. Oh my God, she's a beautiful adult doe. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. She's taking care of her young. Oh my God, I wish you guys could see this. I knew what he was really thinking. Ladies, I will tell you what we're really thinking. We're really thinking, I'd like a beer and I'd like to see something naked. That's all we're thinking. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not entirely a redneck, but why did I even buy this game? Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011? What? I didn't even know there was a Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2010 or 09. What the hell was I thinking? Oh yeah, that's right, this damn thing. It's called the Top Shot Elite. Check this out. That and I got a bargain. This puppy was marked down $20 from 80 to 60. And I can't pass up a good deal, I love toys. Though God knows I should have. I mean, when you see an ad with dudes like this getting this happy over a game. Stay frosty. Charging us! A lot of them! They're so fast! Let's get close! Get them! Grizzlies! Watch out, watch out! To the left, to the left, to the left. Right, right! Boom! Oh, shit! Lions, ah. ah. right there! Ah. Right, right, we got them! Everything you got! Yes! Dude! Ah. Ah. Watch out, watch out! Watch out! Shoot! Go right, right, right! right. Charge it right! We did it! Yes! 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 Oh my god! Hey, honey. Um, some drink. <laughs> you know they're faking it. And now they look like complete jagoffs. I mean, even more than they already were. Because this game sucks. Now, the only reason why anyone would give this game a second look is the Top Shot Elite. But they even fuck that up! It's your standard light gun with a controller built right in. You see, you got your right stick, A and B buttons on the grip, the left stick and X button on the left side of the muzzle, and the D-pad and Y button on the other side. With, of course, a trigger and a pump action reload system. It even has an adjustable rifle butt and red scope. Though the first thing you're going to want to do when you start to actually play is just remove and toss the scope as it's much easier to aim down the sights without it. It works, but not well. First, it's extremely awkward to use the controls. You'll never quite get over that the whole game. And next, the accuracy just sucks. You would think in 2011 that they would improve on this light gun technology. But no, you have to stand back further than even the Kinect wants. Something like eight or nine feet for it to even be worth playing. Do you know how far that is? Oh. Oh, uh, let's just shoot something. Yeah, you Follow the trail. Looks like a same from lying to me. Oh, dude, something, something, dude. There it is. Oh, it's right in front of you. Turn! I oh, do! Oh my god, I 
one? It's boring, the animations are stiff, and get this, crazy enough, it is not an on-rails shooter. You know, usually you complain if it is an on-rails shooter, but here, I'm actually pissed that it's not. Now there are normal shooting galleries in the game that there are, but the story mode, the meat of the game, the campaign, is controlled using the sticks on the controller. You move your character with the sticks, and you move your head with the motion of the gun. You have to move unnaturally with the gun all over the place just to turn your head. It is the worst way to control a game. Does this look fun to you? To control a game doing this for eight hours? No! You're gonna get sick of holding this game up the entire game like this. And if you don't keep it up and your head goes down, it goes up, or it goes any, any which direction. If you don't keep the gun, aim directly at the screen. The entire game. <sighs> I will give it this though. The game has a story mode. That's right. There's an actual story here. Although of course there is way too much jawing going on. My father brought me here on my 18th birthday, just as his father brought him. For 200 years, every son of this family has proven his manhood by a hunter's rite of passage, as was the custom of the local tribes. We've heard this story a hundred times, Pop. Don't interrupt me, boy. You listen up. Today isn't just about coal. It's about the future of this family. We own the land you're standing on, and everything you can see. One day, it'll all be yours, but only if you can prove yourself worthy of that legacy. You can start by showing proper respect for this family's traditions. I'll make you proud, sir. I swear it. Well, I have no doubt about that. <clears throat> but today is your brother's day. I tracked a six-by-six six bull up here last night. He's yours, if you can take him. Go on now. We'll be listening for the sound of your shot. Why is there a story in a game where you're just shooting animals? You think people are gonna pay attention? No, they just wanna shoot shit. Woo, that's right, cause we're shooting deers, drinking beers. That's how I roll. Another disappointing thing is it's so archaic. It doesn't even show you the weight of the animals you kill. Hunters like to know that kind of shit. It makes them feel proud, like if they got a bigger dick or something. And pretty much every other hunting game has it, but not here. And how the hell is it with a game with such poor controls that there's no freaking map? Everything looks the same. I swear to you, you will be walking around in circles half of the game trying to figure out where the hell you're supposed to go. Oh, they do have Hunter's Vision, but let me show you how helpful Hunter's Vision is. What the hell is this shit? How am I supposed to fucking see in this shit? Really? This is Hunter's vision. Really? Yeah, maybe if you like mix 97 beers, weed, acid, LCD, and cocaine. What the fuck is going on, man? And why are there so many freaking invisible walls? What the hell is this? In the forest? You gotta be kidding me. What the... That's crazy. You're gonna be slamming into these damn invisible walls all the time. In an open hunting game. What the hell is going on? Why in the God name, God turn it, Jesus Christ, in a baby manger? And as if it couldn't get any worse, the AI are either cheating some of my bitches, or they're dumb as hell. Hey, Burley, what's up? Nothing much. I've just been hanging out here. See anything interesting lately? I think I'm just gonna. Oh God, Jesus, my hand! Oh jeez, did you see where the kid- Man, if I stand still, he won't say- Oh god, I'm dead, I'm dead! Oh, what happened to Bob? Anybody see what was going on? Oh god, my eyeball, I can't see! Oh Jesus, oh, this is such a weird coincidence. What is- Oh god, I'm dead! 
And when they're not being idiots like that, they're being cheap. Quick dime events where your gun doesn't register, more quick dime events that have an immediate death failure, an inaccurate gun that doesn't seem to register some hits. It is punishingly difficult. This is one of those games that you're gonna be scared to move forward. You're gonna move like a few inches forward and scan the whole screen and move a few more inches and scan the whole screen and move, oh, I don't wanna play no more. That's the kind of game this is. You'll inch your way through it. And why the hell can I not pick up extra health packs to save for later while my health is full? I mean, I'm a hunter. I have like a bajillion pockets and pouches. What the hell are those things for? And it's a shame, because there are actually some fun sections. If the gun was precise and it was an on-rail shooter so that I can enjoy it and keep my head on straight instead of doing this the whole game. This is you, the whole game, controlling the game with the freaking gun. That's you, the whole game. Ugh. The story actually does get better as it goes along with some seriously peculiar shit going on. With animals being controlled with some sort of a harmonics sound or some monster call or, or something. But guess what? It all ends on a disappointing note. Bet you didn't guess that one. It had flashes of being really interesting and sinister. But the payoff is certainly not worth the effort. And it has so many plot holes. Like what the hell happened to your brother on your father's land? What the hell was that sound? And why does it sound completely different from the sound at the end of the game? And what the hell is going on with Umbeki? And why do you keep him around? Don't, don't worry, you don't wanna know. Look, the final verdict for Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011 is a stay the hell away. Just because the gun is cool, do not buy it. A three out of 10, a terrible game. Okay, okay, it's, it's not the worst game I've ever played. In fact, it made us laugh really hard at how bad it was. I haven't laughed like that in a while. I feel like doing some let's plays of this game and showing you guys. And to be honest, there were some fun moments, intense situations like in Africa with all the lions and Simba's trying to kill you and Monkey throwing Dookie at you. But it's not worth putting yourself through all of the rest of it. And certainly not worth $80. Now if you play hunting games, you might be able to put up with all the intricacies easier than I. You're probably pretty used to some pretty poor games. But it's definitely not something you need to run out and buy. Not even you. Not at this price point. I guess I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show.